And then, dude, the last one, VR. Um, Creates can, empathy. Can make us more empathetic. Yeah, I believe it. Well, I think it's, it's like the movie thing. It puts you in the situations. And more deeply, too. Yeah. It is funny, like, the examples they use in it. They're like, yeah, like, if you do VR to be homeless, like, you'll have more empathy for the homeless. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if a lot of people are going to pay for that, though. Uh, yeah, was that you sitting on a street? Yeah. I'm not sure that'll work. Maybe maybe if they use it in schools and they make they force kids to do it, you know what I mean? I just don't know if people are going to voluntarily be like, yeah, put me through something difficult so I can love more. Well, dude, the, the VR uh, at the IMAX Center... It helped me create a lot of empathy for trees because there's a tree game where you're just a friggin' tree. And I was like, damn, being a tree is boring as fuck. So I now I know. Right, what they have to go through, like how you, stuck their lives are. Yeah, you can't move. You're just right. you're just kinda and then people if someone comes up to you with an axe, you just like kinda just like, damn, like Yeah, you're like, please don't, but they don't even hear it. Yeah. Or you're like right next to another tree and you like love that tree and you want to hug it, but like yeah. you can't. Yeah. You just got to hope your branches grow over the years. Yeah. How wonderful that must be when it actually happens, though. Yeah. When your tree gets big enough to touch whatever you want to touch. Yeah. But that's true, dude. And like quoting Roger Ebert again, he said, uh, I think he said film is a vehicle for empathy. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think it's like, that's like your favorite quote. It's my favorite quote. Yeah. We just love movies so much. I love empathy so much. I just want to hug every one of you guys. I just love to feel. I just want to feel all you guys so close to my bosom, dude. And I want you to tell me all the bad stuff you've done, and I'll tell you it's okay, but later I might judge you. Hey, how about we do the homeless VR experience? One where you sit on a sidewalk? And you know what? I'm Not to be, like, super pious, but perhaps better than doing the homeless VR thing is, like, just go volunteer at a soup kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Hey, I'm going to put on goggles so I can see what it's like to be homeless. Like, well, you could just go talk to a homeless person yeah. <laughs> or go help them out a little bit. I don't know if we need VR for that because yeah. they're actually out there in IRL. It's like, oh, I didn't understand that it sucked to be homeless until I put on these goggles. And then you wow. you walk around L.A. You're like, no, it's pretty visible. The yeah. sidewalk from this view is just, it sucks. Yeah, this is shattering. Oh, yeah. that's my tent. I would, um, when I used to party much harder, I would just sleep on the sidewalk sometimes. Where? One time I, uh, went out with this girl, Mia and her friend who was from out of town and, uh, Mia went to sleep and me and her friend just walked around like the city at like four in the morning. And then we got back to the apartment. I was like, do you want to hook up? And she was like, nah. And I was like, all right. And then she went inside <laughs> and, then, and then my phone died and I walked out of their building and the gate closed, you know, so I couldn't get back in and I couldn't call an Uber, and I really didn't know how far I was from my apartment, so I just laid down on the front porch and slept. And then someone came out and was like, you can't be here, and I was like, can I use your phone? I called my brother and he came and picked me up at like 10 in the morning. Do you want to hook up? No. Yeah, she was like, no. And I was like, all right. Dude, I used to do something similar. In college, I had this like, I was a freshman, I was trying to impress this girl who lived in the same hall as me, and I had this weird idea that if I passed out in the hallway, She'd be like, oh, he's hilarious because he parties so hard. So I would do that on purpose with the hope, because she lived across me, with the hopes of her waking me up to be like, hey, what are you doing? I'd be like, oh, crazy times. Am I, aren't I just like hilarious and fun? She's like, no. Can I tell you something? I love it. And I love the commitment. You too. love that? Yeah. Dude, I, I slept there like 10 times. I bet you. She woke me up. See, that's the kind we of thing. did date too. Well, there it is. It worked. I was going to say it's not going to work. Um, in the moment, but like 10 years from then, you walk up to her and you know, you're know you different people and you go, you know, the reason I only slept in the hallway was because I had a crush on you and I was hoping you'd wake me up one time. She'd be like, you're insane. You go, I was nuts about you. What do you want me to do? And that's when you hook up. Yeah. And I've always been big into the 10 years down the road game. So luckily it went to six months, but similar situation. It's a testament to patience. Yeah. 